I'm going to show you how to set up the perfect drum mixing template in Logic. Let's do it. So you've dropped your tracks into Logic, you've arranged them nicely, you've labeled them, you've given them little icons like I have so they're easily recognizable at a glance and now you're ready for the next step. What we're going to do next is click on kick in up here, hold down shift, come down to the bottom, click on our last track and highlight all of these. Now while they're highlighted, we're going to right click in this gray area here, go down to create track stack and then we're going to get two options up here, we're going to choose summing stack. Now you can see it's put all of these tracks in a little folder here. You can click on this little arrow and it can open and close all of your drum tracks. You can hide them away into a nice little folder. We're going to label this drums and change the icon to a pretty little drum kit. What we need to do next is open up the mixer. So you can click on this icon up here or you can press X on your keyboard to toggle the mixer. So now that the mix is open, we can see all of our drum tracks are being sent to bus one. And that is exactly what we want. Now that could be all you need to do and you're ready to start mixing. You can mix the individual channels and you can mix your drum bus. You want to keep it simple. What I like to do is make groups within the group so I can process multiple mics at once. Make sure the channels that you want to group together are next to each other for this next part. So we've got kick in and kick out next to each other. So we're going to click and drag over those, come up to bus one and change that to bus two. Now that's going to make a send over here. We're going to label that kick. Keep it simple. Now we're going to do the same for the rest of our drum tracks. Our snares, click and drag, change that to bus three, change that to snare. Our toms, change that to bus four, label that one toms. Now for the next one, we're going to group our spot symbols and our overheads together. So we click and drag over the hats and ride and overhead. If you've got extra stuff like a china and a splash, just select it all and then come up here and change it to bus five. We're going to call this one symbols. Now all of our room mics, if you've got a room left and a room right and a far room and a room down the hall, all that different stuff, just group them all together and we're going to put them in a room bus. So bus six, we'll call that one room. So we've sent all of our drums to individual buses. Now what we need to do is click on the first one, kick, then hold down command and click on the rest of them. Snare, toms, symbols, room. Then we're going to right click and choose create track. So what this has done has changed these from just being buses in the mixer window to being actual channels that you can move around in the global window here. So then we're just going to click on these and drag them around and put them next to the drums they're assigned to. Kicks with kicks, snares with snares, toms with toms, cymbals with the cymbals and rooms with the rooms. Now we need to open the mixer. Now on our buses here, we can see that they say stereo out. Now we want to change this. So we've got them all highlighted. We're going to click on that and send them to bus one. Now they're being sent to the drum bus over here. Now that's looking great. It's ready for mixing. You can process the individual channels. You can process multiple mics at once and you can process the drum bus. Now we can go one step further and we can add some sends for effects processing and parallel processing. So if you click on the first send on the drum bus, click on bus seven, come over here to the send it just made. We're going to label this one kit verb. Now that can be a reverb send. So we can chuck a reverb on here when we're ready to mix and then we can push the send into it and get some nice drum kit reverb. Now, if you're like me, you might use some parallel compression while mixing. So we can highlight all of these, come to our first bus, choose bus eight, come over here. Let's label this one crush because we're going to crush the drums with this. So that'll be our parallel compression. Now we'll do the same thing. Right click on it, create track. Now let's put it in the global window up here and I'm just going to drag it up next to drums. Now on that, we can put a heavy hitting compressor and then we can use our sends on here to push in as much of the signal as we want into that compressor. Make sure you change the output to bus one on this as well. Now you could go one step further and you could change the output of your drums to a separate bus. So I'm gonna send it to bus 32, which I've labeled as mix. And then any other instruments that you add into your session, you can send that to the mix bus. Now this is great if you wanna drop references in and listen to them and you don't want any processing that would be applied to the stereo out channel. And that's it, we're done. Let's have a look and see how it went. That's great. Our kicks are in here, our snares, our toms, cymbals, and our room mics. Beautiful. So now you guys can take that and go and set up the perfect template for mixing drums. If you set your session up a little different, leave a comment below. Let me know how you do it. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.